orca, or killer whales, are a large toothed whale and the largest of the oceanic dolphins. As the largest dolphins, the males will reach 6 to 8 metres in length, with females being between 5 and 7 metres. They are one of the most iconic of the ocean's predators, with black coloration and white markings, with its signature white patches located behind the eyes. They are a cosmopolitan species, which means that the species is found across the planet, and orca are found in all the world's oceans, from the polar seas of the Arctic and Antarctic to the tropical seas of the equator and temperate seas of the Pacific coast of North America. Across the northern and southern hemispheres, there are at least 10 types of killer whale that are distinguished not just by physical appearance, but also diet, hunting strategies, social structures of pods, and their preferred habitat. Males and females are distinguished by their body size and the size and shape of their dorsal fins, with females adorning a curved fin and males having a large triangular dorsal fin that can reach 2 metres in some males. Each orca also possesses unique markings such as their saddle patch behind their dorsal fin, both of which are used by scientists to identify individuals. Orca have great eyesight both above and below water with great hearing and sense of touch as well as a sophisticated echolocation system using clicks to determine the location, size and shape of their prey, as well as navigating their way in the water. Like most marine mammals, orca possess a thick layer of fat called blubber that acts as an insulator in water, and particularly useful in polar seas. Orcas are an apex predator, meaning they have no natural predator that surpasses them. They are often dubbed the wolves of the sea due to their cooperative pack hunting nature which allows them to hunt a variety of the ocean species. Different pods of orcas in different parts of the world specialize in different prey, using unique hunting methods to successfully hunt and kill their prey. However, in tropical seas, orcas seem to be generalists, feeding on whatever prey they wish to tackle. Orcas in the Norwegian and Greenland seas specialize in hunting herring, often using their flukes to stun their prey. In the northeastern and northwestern parts of North America, they will hunt various salmon. In New Zealand and the Sea of Cortez in Mexico, sharks and rays are an important part of their diet, and around the world there are many other examples of orcas hunting some of the largest predatory sharks, even the great white shark, known to cause these sharks to flee the area upon a pod's arrival. But rather strangely, orcas often do not consume the whole shark, instead specifically eating their livers. Orcas will also hunt large whales, with examples including the hunting of grey whales on the migration route through Monterey Bay, and even hunting the largest animal on Earth, blue whales in southwestern Australia. When it comes to seals, orcas that arrive at the Valdez Peninsula in Patagonia will famously rush ashore, almost beaching themselves to catch young sea lions in the surf. There is even a particular female orca that visits the Falkland Islands off Patagonia's southeastern coast that times her and her pod's arrival to the time when elephant seal pups are taking their first swims and utilises the high tide to get close to the nursery pools to snag a pup. Orcas in Antarctica have also been observed creating bow waves to knock crab eater seals off of ice flows. The day to day routine of orcas consists of foraging for food traveling for several kilometers a day to find it, resting and socializing to strengthen the bonds between members of the pod. They also engage in various surface behaviors, such as breaching their entire bodies out of the water and tail slapping with their flukes on the surface. These behaviors are thought to have various purposes, such as communication, courtship between mates, dislodging parasites such as barnacles and itches created by whale lice. They are also used as intimidation towards prey, but with breaching, it could also just be for the fun of it. Spy hopping is another behaviour that is exhibited by orcas where they hold their heads out above the surface to observe their surroundings. This is particularly useful to orcas living in polar seas, where they search for seals and penguins on the ice. Orcas also engage in surplus killing, which is the activity of killing, but not for food. Orcas use this as a training method to teach younger members of the pod how to hunt and kill different prey items. Such examples involve the orcas using the flukes to throw seals out of the water to exhaust and injure the animal. Orcas live in a highly complex society, with the only other animals exhibiting such social structures being elephants and higher primates such as humans. 
due to groups being a family of orcas, with all of them having strong social bonds with one another, being separated due to capture by humans to be kept in marine parks has led to intense depression and sadness in orcas that are housed in captivity, which is overall detrimental to their mental health, and this depression is one of the causes for an orca's dorsal fin to collapse in captivity. An orca calf is known to stay in its mother's pod for the entirety of its life. This is known as a matrilineal society, with the matriarch the eldest female leading a pod of both her sons and daughters and their own young. This group is called a matriline. With the matriarch capable of living to 90 years old, as many as four or more generations of orca can potentially travel in a pod that can consist of many different matrilines. Like all cetaceans, orca heavily depend on underwater sounds for their day-to-day -day life, such as communication, as well as locating one another and their prey. They produce three primary sounds, these being clicks, whistles and pulsed calls which often involve squeaks, screams and squawks to our human ears. Clicks are largely used in navigation of their world and hunting their prey. Members of a pod will use the same dialect to communicate between members of the group. These dialects are composed of a complex mix of specific numbers, pitches and repetitive calls that all have their own meanings. The similarity of an orca pod's dialect to another can determine relatedness between individuals and whole pods, and matrilines too. Also, like all cetaceans, orca use echolocation to find their prey, sending out a series of clicks originating from the nasal sacs near the blowhole and concentrated through the melon, which is responsible for the large mass above an orca's jaws. When the signal hits an object, it comes back with a distinct signature that travels through the lower jaw and to the brain where the orca determines what the signal is coming from. Amongst animals, the orca has the second heaviest brain after the sperm whale that possesses the largest brain on earth. Their intelligence is sometimes questioned, but they have been trained in captivity successfully and deliberately teach hunting skills to their young and other members of their pods. They also employ multiple different hunting methods to hunt different kinds of prey. An example of their intelligence is a pod in the fjords of northern Norway around the island of Spildra, where the orcas arrive to hunt herring. But they go one step further and listen for the bells of the fishing boats and approach the boat's nets and pick off any spilled herring. The orcas' use of dialects assists in the teaching of generational knowledge between mothers and young. Orcas are also one of many animals that will grieve their dead. It has been seen many times that mother orcas will carry a deceased calf for several days until finally accepting that her calf has passed. Female orcas begin to mature at 10 and are fertile at 20. Until they reach the age of 40, that is followed by a rapid decrease in fertility. Orcas are among few animals that experience menopause. And even after this sexual sterility, the females can live many decades after, with some individuals being known to have lived for over a hundred years. Males will mate with females from other pods to avoid inbreeding. The gestation period varies between 15 to 18 months, which will produce a single calf once every five years on average. Unfortunately, mortality rates for juvenile orca are high in the first seven months and those that survive are weaned at 12 and reach adulthood at two. Male orcas live significantly shorter lives than that of the females, with some individuals reaching 60, but a large majority only living to 29. Despite the orca being the apex predator of the ocean, this is a delicate position and the specific diets of certain populations can be detrimental to their survival. A major threat to orca is overfishing of their prey. Seasonal fish such as herring and salmon are fished extensively in the northern hemisphere, and this can be bad news for the orcas. A type of orca known as the southern resident orca is considered as endangered due to the overfishing of Chinook salmon in their region, which has caused a decline in this orca's numbers with only 75 individuals remaining today. But all orcas are threatened by depletion of prey the pollution of their habitat and occasional oil spills from ships, as well as the disturbance caused by large numbers of watercraft, their noise that disrupts their echolocation and the number of boats has caused increased collisions. 
In the past, orcas have been removed from the wild and placed in captivity. Orca calves would be separated from their mothers and captured in a net, and then spending the rest of their lives in a puddle compared to their wild open ocean home. Orca are an incredible species, one of the planet's greatest and most intelligent predators of the ocean. Though they are the top predator of the ocean, they possess no real danger to humans, with attacks on humans in the wild being almost unheard of. In captivity, it is a different story, but those orcas have been put under intense stress and severe depression, causing them to become more aggressive. But in the wild, they are beautiful, magnificent, curious and inquisitive, and are very aware of their world and of us. If you too love orcas and other incredible species of our planet, please subscribe for more and like if you enjoyed this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.